Hi, I'm Zane Warson, wildlife guru, here to bring you another episode of Weekly Wildlife. Today I'm here to talk to you about lizards, one of the most diverse groups found in the Sonoran Desert of Arizona. The Sonoran Desert is home to birds, mammals, and even amphibians, but in my opinion the most successful group of animals in the desert are the lizards. The most widespread lizard that we encountered in the Sonoran Desert were the zebra-tailed lizards. These lizards have a tannish back as they camouflage with the sand and rocks and are very good at it, where you wouldn't know if you were near one until you step right next to them and they dart into the bushes. These lizards have beautiful black and white striped tails, hence the name, and when a predator gets close to them, they twirl their tail in the air to show predators that they've been spotted. These tails effectively say, I see you, you have no chance of catching me, so you shouldn't even try. While walking in a wash, I came across a large male zebra tail lizard doing push-ups on a rock. Males do these push-ups for the same reason that college jocks do it, to show the females how strong they are and entice them into mating with them. There are other lizards in the desert as well. When walking in Saguaro National Park, I had a chance encounter with the fastest lizard in the desert, the collared lizard. This collared lizard was perched on a rock out in the open since it was sunbathing, and all lizards need energy from the sun to stay healthy. Also, since it is so fast, it can afford to be out in the open, since it can dart into a bush at a moment's notice. One particularly large group of lizards in the desert are the spiny lizards. There are many species of spiny lizards, like the Clark spiny lizard or the desert spiny lizard, and while they're generally some shade of dull brown on top, my favorite thing about these lizards is that the males have bright blue iridescent stomachs, which are used to impress females. And spiny lizards are quite speedy, though not as fast as the collared lizards. Spiny lizards need this speed to escape predators, such as hawks. The hardest lizard to get footage of were the whiptails. Every so often I'd see one out of the corner of my eye and run to get a photo, but they always ended up getting away. Finally, though, I managed to get a video of a spotted whiptail darting under my feet. All the lizards I have mentioned so far were found out in the desert in the daytime, which is why this next lizard is so unique. This lizard is the Mediterranean gecko. I actually found it under a pump cover right outside our hotel late at night. These geckos have very delicate skin, and if they're out in the sun for too long, these tiny reptiles could die, and this is why they are strictly nocturnal. Now, Mediterranean geckos are, like their name suggests, from around the Mediterranean and arrived here via ships. But even though they're an introduced species, they're not hurting any native creatures and even help control insect populations. I absolutely love the patterns on this gecko's skin. These patterns are for camouflage, but if worse comes to worse, they can skid quite quickly to evade predators. So, why are lizards so successful here in the desert? Well, these reptiles are heat tolerant, fast, widespread, and camouflaged. And as a result of these factors, lizards flourish here in the Sonoran Desert. I have marveled at lizards for years, and am so grateful for the chance to film these reptiles here in Arizona. I hope they survive to scurry across the desert for years to come. <laughs>